Welcome back, friends, to the zombie apocalypse. I'm Juniper, and this is Project Zomboid. And it's bedtime for Teresa Day. Oh, actually, don't rest. Sleep. Sleep, please. It's our first night sleeping in a real bed. During a tropical storm, no, no less. <laughs> Alright, it is super dark. I'm actually going to see if... I can find something to help with that. I think we have uh, this thing. Can be attached to things with a flashlight slot. This can attack attach to my backpack, I think, is what this means. It can also attach to the webbing. Okay, so I think I have the webbing here. So if I wear this, why can't I wear this? I think this will do it. Okay, there we go. Then I can attach this to my webbing slot. Can I turn it on? Uh, seven. Nice. All right, we have some light now. Now what are we going to do today? So my big concern here today is that we have a helicopter coming. Having a helicopter today would be bad just because the weather outside is truly frightful. Let's go take a look at it. Like, wow. Wow. So, really hope we don't have a helicopter today. If we don't have one today, I'm just gonna skip to the next day and we'll we'll catch up then. But go ahead and wander around here and start doing some planning and some organization for a minute. It's time to listen to the radio. We've been doing some uh, some organizing here. Let's radio down real quick. Uh, yeah. Pull out the radio. Been moving some of these crates over. Our, uh, woodworking seal is not quite good enough for, uh, me to get a lot of these crates, which is pretty disappointing. Most of the ones over there in that other room died. Broke. That's the right word. <laughs> Alright. Heavy zist cover. Great. Weather, yes, I know it's going to be weather today. What I really want to know is, do we have a helicopter? In which case, we're going to run away. Helicopter? Looks like no helicopter. Excellent, okay. No helicopter today, which means that I am actually going to go ahead and just spend today organizing and whatnot while we wait for this awful weather to clear up. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll carry on with our adventure in the morning. Maybe we'll have the helicopter tomorrow, which would be a better day for it to come, but not today. So we'll go ahead and get a bunch of organizing done around the house and. Everything will be nice and nice and organized, so. It's the dawn of a new day. The rain appears to have stopped. It's quite damp outside, but it's not raining. That's a good sign. 
Alright, so let me f fill you in on what I've been doing here. First of all, we've got our deadly griddle pan of the spirits down here on the ground. Seemed a fitting location to keep it. And then, yeah, we've got uh, just basically a wall of different storage stuff here. This first one is weapons. So these are the weapons we've got right now. We're only at one katana in one katana in storage. We have another one in here that's kind of low poor condition, but basically yeah, this is our this is our weapon storage. We got pretty fair amount of weapons, frankly, lots of crowbars. So, pretty happy about that. This whole whole section here is food. I did a run yesterday to the uh um to the Gigamart and basically took everything that was edible. So we're good on food, which I wasn't concerned about at all because we have the Gigamart there. This third section here is anything that's clothes or costume related or backpack related. So got some some other stuff in here. The welder's mask is here. I might move that into the other one, but that's okay. Yeah. Uh, and then this one is kind of miscellaneous. Everything else, medical supplies, gardening supplies, duct tape, books, screwdrivers, anything would go in here. This is kind of overflow for food. So because the canned food weighs so much, um, I can't fit it all in that one. So some of it's over here. This bottom chest is all of our broken weapons. So you can see here the uh, all the weapons we've gone through. I thought we went through a third katana already. Yeah, we must have broken the third katana, unless this one's lasted us a very long time. Honestly, I don't remember, so I may have another broken katana kicking around somewhere. Anyway, that's that's broken weapons, and this is kind of like building supplies and scrap wood and whatnot, so. Yeah. All organized, I went and stole a uh, water tank too, so we don't have to worry about um, boiling up water anytime soon. Eventually this will run out and I'll either go boil water or go get another one or I could even go and just fill up from sinks in the bathrooms that are right on the other side of this wall. So yeah, doing pretty good here. Uh, we started to get our character here, Teresa started getting quite bored yesterday, which is understandable as all we were doing was walking around um, basically moving things. I'm gonna come over here and pick up this uh, this rifle since I see it. How heavy is this thing? Five, holy cow. I think we should also grab some art from the art museum. Something nice and relaxing for us to take with us. Night with Stars Painting. I guess that's one way to describe it. And yeah, we're just waiting here for the uh, the next... For our alarm to go off here at 7.50 to see what we'll actually be spending our day on. Because... Uh, if we have a helicopter, obviously we're spending that our day avoiding the helicopter. <laughs> We don't have a helicopter. I think I'm gonna go drive somewhere and kill some kill some zombies. I think that's the right call. We could also keep grinding out more um, carbon tree experience, but not sure that that's strictly speaking necessary. All right, that's a perfect place for the night with stars painting. I like that a lot. All right, M16 assault rifle. How much space do I have on this shelf? We're almost full. So, I'm actually going to take all the gun stuff and put it somewhere else. This will be this will be melee weapons only. We'll go ahead and throw our guns in our overflow food storage for the time being. It just guns weigh so much, so I'm not going to use them at least not in the immediate future, so Just, uh, we'll just put them over there. Flashlight battery runs out pretty quickly, so I'm actually going to take a trip while we're waiting for the news bulletin to come up. 
we're gonna go upstairs to the electronic store, or the electronic section of the general store, and we'll pick up some more batteries, just cause uh, we're gonna go through batteries pretty quickly. Although I can probably turn this off now, it's not that dark. I know it's super hard to see uh, in the in the game and video when uh, it's dark out during the night, so especially indoors. So I'll try to keep the flashlight on more often. Let's see though. All right, what's in here? We have our boost for electrical, right? Yeah. I don't think dismantling watches has an uh, has the ability to give you batteries, but that's all right. We'll dismantle them anyway. If I read this. Headphones, we can dismantle that. Speakers, we can dismantle those. Do those give me batteries? Why would they give me batteries? I don't know why, I mean, uh, there's no batteries in a normal speaker. This should give me batteries though. Not that we're really hurting for batteries at this point, but you know, in case we end up, oh no, wait, no batteries in the TV either? I guess that's, I guess that's okay, game. What would give me batteries? I think I'd have to dismantle like a video game or a uh, video game. Uh, oh, first level of electrical, nice. Very nice. Um, yeah, dismantle a video game, dismantle a radio, something like that to get, to get batteries. There is an actual electronics store across the way over here. We could go over there. But really, we're just killing time until 7.50, so I shouldn't actually do that right now. Because if there's a helicopter, I'm getting out of here right away. We just put in an enormous amount of effort clearing this mall out. So uh, I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to bring a whole bunch of new zombies in. Just head back downstairs to our little corner base. We'll listen to the radio. I'm getting bored again. All right, radio. What do you have for us today? I am anxious to know. Power grid is in blackout. I knew that already. Mild wind, some clouds today. Weather predicted to end tonight. So it might rain some more today, but it looks like we're definitely through the bulk of the tropical storm, so that's great. Tomorrow, mild wind, clear skies. Light fog. Hmm, I can live with light fog. Order 371. What about air activity? Air activity? Alright, no air activity. Perfect. Cool. All right, so now, now the question becomes, what are we gonna do today? First, we're gonna deal with this guy chilling down here in my driveway. Come over, come up here. I don't want you cluttering up the road. All right, so what's the plan? Let's go ahead and take a look at the map. So we've cleared the mall. This is just a recap of our of our journey in this world so far. We spawned in this house right here. We walked all the way down here so that we could go camp on the side of the river. This was, I think our first campsite was here. Yeah. Second campsite was here and now we're here in the corner of the mall. And it looks like there's some areas that we haven't even gone to yet that are on the outskirts of the mall. So I think we probably just wander down the um, wander down the parking lot today. 
and uh, yeah, see what we see. our protection looking looks like our right forearm could use something uh something new but oh our our, our boots are damaged uh oh we have a hole in the fo foot in the hole in one of the boots that's not good all right so there's a huge hotel down there I'm gonna be cautious about approaching the hotel because there's an awful lot of zombies there. I'm also going to start dismantling digital watches as much as I can remember. See, I'm not going to get too close to the hotel. I actually don't want it to generate all of its internal zombies quite yet. Because I'm not in the mood for that today. Although we could just do it anyway. I do want to push down in this area... To hopefully clear out this gas station. We'll eventually need the gas station for sure. However, we uh, don't have a generator. And I'm not actually sure where on earth we're going to find one. Just because there's so many zombies it'll make it very difficult to go anywhere. I'm actually surprised by the low population in this area. Certainly lower than I anticipated. Let's go ahead and do it. We'll wake up the hotel. If you watch carefully down here as I approach this, you might see them all spawn inside. There we are. They're all spawned now. So yeah, I think this hotel will be our next next plan of attack map of the riverside country club I think I have that one lots of tourists in this bunch also there's probably like a ton of zombies working their way towards me right now so I'm just gonna back off real quick I don't want to pull too many of them here I'm a little bit nervous about the oops it's a bad swing a little bit nervous about the lack of zombies, actually. I'm worried that in the game update that somehow the uh, zombie quantity settings might have changed. It shouldn't have been, because I set it in the sandbox, and the sandbox settings didn't change, but I guess we'll find out. It could be that I'm just used to the insane number of zombies inside of that mall that I... Uh, feel like the handful of zombies here in the street is just not that many. Right, I'm not actually sure what I'm backing up into here. That's kind of risky. I do not like trees. The main thing to remember for me here is to be basically always backing up towards the mall. Because we know for a fact that the mall is clear. This whole area up here is all clear. In fact, maybe now is a good time to try to move these cars. We'll take a short break from those guys and we'll see what we can do about these cars. Oh, these are wrecks. Okay, so I need a, need a vehicle to tow them out of the way. Ooh. Sunflower seeds and a bunch of rotten food. That's an interesting car. Tarp. The tire is kind of handy, actually. Do I hear a zombie or do I hear the wind? Alright. Twine. I think we need to walk back up to the, uh, up to the mall there and get our vehicle to tow these out of the way.
All right, here we are. We're just gonna nice and easy tow these cars and hope that we don't wake up any uh, any zombies in the meantime, because we're definitely close to a few of them. Oops, turned off the UI there. Now I wanna I'll turn the UI back on, thank you. All right, let's see if we can put this car nice and cleanly in this parking spot. Eh, well, that'll have to do. I don't know if I care enough to do it better than that. We'll try to make the other one straighter. Or should put this one on the right side? Probably on the right side. Wow, the model for the car with the broken trunk lid really actually looks kind of good. They did a good job. They did a good job on the cars and the models in this game. Uh-oh, I woke up, uh, one zombie. One zombie's okay. See if he's being followed by a whole bunch more than I'm gonna be. A little bit nervous. Alright, there's at least a couple more coming. We're gonna take it easy here. I don't want to attract the attention of any more. Come on, guys. Getting in the way of my chores. Alright. Nice job. Good work, everyone. Ooh, there's a whole bunch down there that I didn't see. Alright. Leave the car here. We end up having to ditch it, leave it there. It is what it is. But, yep, we're just gonna start dealing with these guys. Holy cow. All right, guys, it's time to wake this uh, hotel up. Now they're going to come, and there's going to be a lot of them, so I might regret, regret this, but we're going to have to deal with them eventually. Just as basically as soon as I whacked on that door, a zombie fell from the uh, upper story. Alright, let's take a peek here and see just how much trouble we've gotten ourselves into. Oh, not too bad so far. Alright, come with me on a little walk around the gas tanks. Uh-oh. 
we're getting exerted. Well, that means I'm gonna take a break from the crowbar for a second. We're gonna stab him. So hopefully only a few of them uh, identified my location on in that particular stunt there with the uh, banging on the wall. And so the hope is, hunting knife, the hope is that not many of them followed me, which looks like is accurate, but that all of them woke up and they're all going to start working their way towards the bottom of the mall, or mall, the bottom of the hotel. So, which I think is, it appears that that is what they're doing. This street is going to be an absolute mess by the time we're done with it. There's going to be so many zombies pouring out of this place. Actually, I should go rest. Right, if you follow me to my, uh, to my chair, then I guess we can fight. But I don't really want to fight. <laughs> yeah, this will be, this will be a uh, adventure. We're not going to do this uh, particular adventure every day, but... We will do this adventure as our next major, major goal will be to clear out this hotel. Which should be doable. Just take a little while. Dismantle the watch. Throw away the uh, scrap. We'll take a little break. Everybody coming? Yes. That's not very polite. So the uh, the fake dead zombies feature that's in the game now is kind of scary. So like all these zombies that I've killed here are dead. But in about two in-game days time, they could wake back up, basically, and become normal zombies again. I think they, like, stand up and then they stand up and try to attack you. So if you're walking around on top of them like this, they could wake up, bite you, and kill you when you're not paying attention. So I'm not nervous about these bodies here because they are not they they haven't reached the timer yet when that can happen but once they will i'm going to start being much more cautious about the huge piles of zombie bodies that we will uh inevitably have surrounding us in this world yoo -hoo. over here that's right do your flop and then get stabbed. This little flop they do over the fence is kind of a silly animation. I always thought it was kind of funny looking. <laughs> Getting anxious. Ooh, and our canteen is empty. That's right. Not gonna, not gonna die of thirst in the uh, couple hours we're gonna be out here. I'm gonna start getting tired somewhat soon. What does this say? Fatigue? Oh, we're still pretty far away from our first level of drowsy, so that's good. One of the reasons why I'm sh working on Short Blade right now is because it's one of our lowest lowest skills, and it's also one of the best. Oh, man. Yikes. Okay. We're gonna have to do this carefully. I really don't want to pull, you know, 100 zombies at a time, and I also don't want to pull them in the direction of the mall. So... Yeah, I'm going to go to town here.
All right, I think this is gonna be our last few zombies for the day here. I didn't take a peek and see how many we were at when we started this little adventure, but we've definitely done some work today. And Harry, there we go, we've leveled up Short Blade. Excellent, that'll be really good. Anybody else coming? No? All right, it's time to head home. That was a good, uh, a good progress for this day, oh my. You guys just chill down there. Do I take care of that group? Maybe I should. All right, we'll go ahead and take care of this group too. Oh, never mind. And there's another one over there. All right, we're that that's a problem for tomorrow or or another day. <laughs> we'll go ahead and he head home. This has been a uh, eventful eventful day. We could end up having the helicopter tomorrow. We could have it next day. I'm not really sure when it'll come again, so we'll play it by ear, but I think that this will be a good stopping point for today. We've really made some great progress on our home, and very excited about that. Very happy about the, uh, about having a home with a bed. And not only that, we're, we're organized, you know, we've got, we've got shelves, we've got a trash can, we've got a nice painting. The only thing we need in here is lights. There's no light switch, is there? No, I didn't think there would be. Which is a, which is fine, but... Anyway. Thanks, friends, for joining me today. I'm Junver. I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye now.